Hello baseball fans. This video features my Dodgers all-time team from 1959 through the 2018 season. The team was determined using some very basic calculations with baseball statistics. Pitching for the Dodgers is Clayton Kershaw. The card shown for him is Topps 2017. Clayton Kershaw is currently in his 12th year with the Dodgers. He made the All-Star team eight of these seasons, including each year from 2011 to through 2017, and then again this year for the 2019 team. He led the league in wins two times, strikeouts three times, and ERA an incredible five times. He was MVP in 2014. He led his team to the postseason seven times, including the World Series in both 2017 and 2018. Catching for the Dodgers is Mike Piazza. The card shown for him is Topps 1994. Mike Piazza played all or part of seven seasons for the Dodgers, making the All-Star team six of these years from 1993 through 1998, leaving the team early in that season. He was a phenomenal hitter and probably the best hitting catcher of all time, with some of his very best seasons with the Dodgers at the beginning of his career. At first base is Steve Garvey. The card shown for him is Topps 1978. He played with the Dodgers for 14 years. Steve Garvey made the All-Stars eight years straight from 1974 through 1981. He was also MVP in 1974. He led his teams to the postseason four seasons, including three World Series and the World Championship in 1981. Jim Gilliam is at second base. The card shown for him is from Topps 1962. He was with the Dodgers for 14 seasons, making the All-Stars twice, making the team once with the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1956 and then again with the Los Angeles Dodgers in 1959. All of the seasons are included in calculating his position on this team as most of his career followed 1959 and excluding years before 1959 would give a diminished view of his accomplishments. Jim Gilliam played in seven World Series with the Dodgers and was part of four World Championships teams, including those in 1955, 59, 63, and 65. Ron Say is at third base for the Dodgers. His card is from Topps 1976. He played with the Dodgers for 12 seasons, making the All-Stars six years straight from 1974 through 1979. He played in the World Series four times with the Dodgers and shared the MVP award as World Series MVP for their 1981 World Championship team. At shortstop for the Dodgers is Maury Wills. His card is from Topps 1971. He played all or part of 12 seasons with the team from 1959 to 1966 and then again from 1969 to 1972. He led his league in stolen bases six years straight from 1960 through 1965. He was a key part of Dodgers teams that made it to the World Series four times, including the World Championship teams of 59, 63, and 65. He was MVP in 1962. Pedro Guerrero is the Dodgers' first outfielder. The card shown for him is Topps 1982. He was with the Dodgers for all or part of 11 seasons and made the All-Star team during four of these years. He was a key part of teams that made it to the World Series three times, including the 1981 World Championship. He shared the MVP award for that World Series with Steve Yeager and Ron Say, who's also on this all-time team. Willie Davis is my second Dodgers outfielder. The card shown for him is Topps 1965. He played with the Dodgers for 14 seasons and made the All-Stars in 1971 and 1973. He was on three Dodger teams that made it to the World Series, including, including the World Championship teams of 1963 and 1965. Matt Kemp is my third Dodgers outfielder. The card shown for him is Topps 2014. He played for the Dodgers for 10 seasons from 2006 through 2014 and then again in 2018. He made the All-Stars three times and played with the team in the postseason four times, including the 2018 World Series. 2011 was his most outstanding year when he led his league in home runs, runs scored, and runs batted in. This page includes the next six top pitchers and three top hitters who did not make the first team. 
The players on page two for the Dodgers are as follows. Sandy Koufax with the 1960 Dodgers uh, tops card. Don Drysdale with the 1966 card. Don Sutton with the 1973 card. Oral Hershiser with the 1990 card. Kevin Brown with the 2001 tops card. Fernando Valenzuela with the 1981 tops card. Dusty Baker with the 1981 tops card. Tommy Davis with the 1961 tops card. And Eric Karros with the 1992 tops card. Kenley Jansen has the best shot among current players to make the team in the next couple of years. He's been accumulating points by the system I used for the last several years and has a good shot at making the team if he stays healthy with the team. Cody Bellinger is currently having a great year and he'll need several more like it to, make, to contend for a spot with the team in the coming few years. And that's the fun of this, to follow and watch and see who steps up to make each team. Please keep an eye out for the Owls All-Time Stat Details video that I'll be posting next month, which will include more information on the statistics that are used. Well, that's all I have today for my All-Time Dodgers team. Please let me know if you enjoy this by hitting like. I'll do similar postings for additional teams if there's interest. So please share this with others and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks.